All right, we're here in El Salvador. My name is Joel Bergner, and I'm a mural artist. And I came here to the community San Antonio Los Ranchos, which is in the department of Chalatenango. Uh, this is a very interesting re uh, region with a very traumatic and sad past of war, and also an inspirational story of reconstruction after the war. So we did a, a mural project, community mural project, with. Uh, all these images come from the community here, come from people telling their stories, and also tons of kids that live here in the, in the neighborhood also helped out with the mural. So I'm going to tell a little bit about the story, what, it, what it's talking about. Right here are the, are the roots of all of Central America, which is the indigenous people, the, the Mayan, the Pipil people, and many other different indigenous groups. So you can see some representation of that. As you follow the mural down, there's a quote by Farabundo Marti, who was a revolutionary leader here in El Salvador way back in the 1930s, and was an inspiration for revolutionary movements that came afterwards. You see here, people are having a meeting, and people are protesting. This is in the, uh, in the 60s and 70s, there was a lot of organization of people, a lot of protesting, and a lot of social movements that led to, uh, you know, that, that was repressed and uh, oppressed by the authorities and also by right-wing death squads. And that is what culminated eventually in the war. As you move down here, you see that there's some men that are not happy with this organization of the people. Uh, so this is a, representing the elites with his suit, um, representing the military. We also have here a mythological creature that represents bad, you know, evil. And we're using him here, he's myth, a mythological creature from the region here, and we're using him to, to represent all the negative things that were going on at that time. When the war started, this region was hit extremely hard. One of the worst examples of that was the massacre in the Rio Sumpo. It was a river uh, where about 600 innocent civilians attempting to escape from the from the war were massacred by soldiers and so you see that here it was one of the saddest chapters uh, so it was so bad that many of these communities were abandoned and people fled to um, to camps refugee camps in Honduras um, as you move on down you see there's a, a man here with a it says USA. He's an American officer. There's a lot of American officers here training the Salvadoran uh, forces who were doing these massacres. That's an important aspect because the American government and the American, American military were in full support of what was going on, which is important to know. We have a quote here talking about everything I just said by the woman who lives here in this house who lived through all this. So she has several quotes in the mural talking about what was going on at that time. And here, as I said, they went to refugee camps. So down here on this part, down here on this next section, you see people walking with their, all their belongings that they can carry and ending up in this refugee camp. Uh, my friend Erika, who was, who was the coordinator of this project, she was actually born in this refugee camp in Honduras. They lived there throughout the 80s uh, for, for many, many years, but decided to come back and reconstruct their town, even though the war was still going on. They just had had enough, it was terrible conditions in the camps. People were hungry. It was really bad conditions. So they decided to come back and rebuild their communities and try to, you know, live a more peaceful life. Um, another quote here saying that, you know, people try to steal the peace from them, try to, you know, put, put them in exile from their, from their communities, but they demonstrated that they were good enough to, you know, to come back and, and live. So this section down here, this represents the reconstruction. So you see people building, people working, kids, elderly people, you know, men, women, everybody came back and rebuilt everything from scratch which is really, really an amazing story, and that's one of the inspirations for this mural. The style of this mural is uh, kind of a combination between 
traditional folkloric Central American art and, and mural art and also protest art and then also there's some spray paint work some tribal patterns tribal imagery from all over the world that we added in to make it more interesting here uh, you have the parakeet just basically this is just representing you know the the region here some of the typical animals that you'll find uh, as you move down this is this is modern day times now that we've reached and one of the main issues now is immigration or emigration a lot of people are leaving going especially to the United States a lot of the young people it's very sad a lot of a lot of families are getting separated so you see a, a, a woman here grandmother the bus says El Extranjero which means uh, which means um, a foreign, going to a foreign place going out of the country and, and primarily like I said to the US you see people waving goodbye getting on the bus so that's representing, you know, the the people leaving. Uh, once again, another quote here, talking about how a lot of people lost their lives, how the war is very difficult, and even a lot of people left because of migration. But there's still a lot of people here, and they're continuing to struggle and continuing to live. So that's, uh, you know, a message of hope. Here you have a family representing uh, all the people that live here in the community. You have the mother, father, you have elderly, you have kids. The process of this mural was, uh, you know, we all came together. We decided what was going to go in there. Everyone in the community um, and once we decided that I drew everything up so that the kids could paint it all and when the kids had painted everything and we did that that um, stage of the mural then I came back with some of the other adults and we did some of the detail some of the more you know skilled work I guess uh, this right here is an animal that's typical to this region as well you see some of the patterns here this is Mayan patterns we have African patterns a lot of stuff to make it more interesting and the dove representing peace. Memorias de un recuerdo. It's talking about um, the, the memories of the people here, uh, what they've remembered about the past. And that's the title of the, of the mural. And it has all the different kids and adults and people in the neighborhood that collaborated with this for telling the story, for painting the mural, and everything. So all that information is here. So everyone remembers who it was that, that did this. And it was also funded by several different people in the U.S., which is bigger here, and in Canada. It was a, uh, the local 3909, which is a, which is a union in, in Canada. There's the Idlewild Church with Steve Montgomery, Chick Hill. Um, which are, well, that's in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and you have a couple other people, Ann Rogotsky and, and Lenore Guerin. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the mural. And once again, my name is Joel Bergman.